What's up, everybody? Youth One Football Director here, Ryan Oliver. And today I am joined by 2024's elite quarterback. I'm talking about Kamari McClellan. Kamari, thank you for joining me, man. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. Uh, Kamari, I've been covering, covering you for a few years now. Uh, it's been a pleasure covering you, and I'm excited to have you on. Um, first off, I want to ask how you and your family are doing during this uh, uncertain time in our country. We're doing good. What uh what are you doing to stay active during this time? Uh, I just started back training with my uh, my training. Like we just started back. What uh what type of training are you doing? Like what what does it entail? The uh, quarterback training. We just the field just started back to open up. Yeah, and I saw a couple clips on uh on your social media. It looks like you've uh, gotten to work with some other quarterbacks too. I saw you with a cl uh with a uh, Julian Lewis, twenty twenty six quarterback. Y'all were throwing around. Uh, that's awesome. Um, so, Kamari, real quick, I want to uh, ask you, you were ranked number three on our Elite 101 that came out in the fall. I want to know, what does it feel like to kind of be regarded as one of the elite quarterbacks in your class, and what did it feel like to receive the ranking in general? Okay. I, uh, it showed me that the work had been paying off. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, as someone who's kind of follows you, you know, over the past couple of years, you were on our next up watch list too, when you were entering your seventh grade year. Every time I see you in person, you're better than the last time. And what is, what is, um, made you so dedicated to the quarterback position to want to just continue to get better and better? Okay, just, uh, just like to compete, compete in that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I mean, that competitive drive shows um, the events I've seen you at, you know, whether it's a next gen camp or next gen's the show, you're competing with some of the nation's top athletes and you're typically a standout. So how does it feel to have your talents recognized, you know, when you're named to like an all show team or you're named to an elite 101 ranking? How does that feel to you? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Oh, dang. Mm. It, it feels good, like. Yeah, it feels like that work that you're putting is paying off. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, Kamar, I want to ask you how long you've been playing quarterback and what's your favorite thing about playing the position? I've been playing quarterback for since I was six years old. And I like, uh, I like, I like to be the uh, person that everybody get to count on like, during the game and all that. Yeah. yeah, and for someone that hasn't seen you play or hasn't been a part of your team, what are some of the attributes you bring to your team's locker room? Uh, I had a team within a locker room. Uh, I went, I motivate the team. Uh, you just consider yourself like a, a leader amongst your peers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Um, I want to ask you uh, what, in your own words, are some of your strengths, like in terms of uh, playing the quarterback position? Um, from watching you play, you have great zip on the ball, you throw with great accuracy, and you have good arm strength. But in your own words, what are, what are your strengths? Uh, yeah, I haven't thought about it. I, I need to uh, get my, my feet quicker. Uh, yeah, get my feet quicker. Uh, yeah, this need my yeah. feet. Yeah, for sure. And so you've had your sh your share of success on the field. Uh, is there a memorable moment, a most memorable moment you've had in your career so far that you could share with me? Yeah. Uh, my um. Coach, he uh, let me um, be on the varsity team my first my first uh, first game. I got to get in there and like see how I feel on the um, field, like as an eighth grade. How did it feel? It felt good. Yeah, you got a little taste of what of what's to come, and I, I know, I know, knowing you that you going you're gonna like you know, salivate at the chance to like get up there and just ball out when you when you when you get your chance. Um, I look forward to kind of follow, following along with you, uh, you know, as you continue going forward. I want to ask you about, uh, you know, I know you want to play um, college football. What kind of characteristics are you looking for in a college program? Uh, not necessarily which college, but 
what kind of characteristics are you looking for in a college program down the road? Uh, I'm trying to go to a school like that that fits me like um passing school like I um yeah like a pad yeah. I got you. I got you. Um, Kamari, what are some of your long-term goals for yourself uh, in terms of football? Uh, I want to. Uh, um, uh, I want to um, make the state championship four times at my, out of my four years. Yeah. Um, go to college. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you want to play ball in the in the pros one day too. So, and you're already you know, put in that work. And that's awesome. Uh, Kamari, I want to ask you about some off the field things. What are some hobbies that you like to do that are not football related? Um, play the game, um, chill with my family. I have fun with them and play basketball a little bit. What position you play in basketball? I play uh, shooting court. Well, I ain't play basketball, but I play basketball. I ain't play last year. I was just like, Focus on football a lot, but I play shooting guard. Oh, okay. All right, cool, man. Before a big game, what's bumping in your headphones? Uh, some NBA or Lil Baby. <laughs> so literally every every time I ask this question, I get I get a little baby. Lil Baby is like by far the most popular answer. And then NBA Young Boy is probably like second. That's that's funny. Um, but that's a good choice for sure. Well, Kamari, I appreciate your time. Um, it's really been a pleasure to follow along with you through your youth football career, and I'm excited to see where you go from here. Um, I'm sure you'll be a member of our Freshman 450 here at Youth One as well. Uh, so keep grinding, keep doing your thing, and uh, hopefully I'll see you at the show this summer. Uh, hopefully that, that happens, and I hope to see you there. But I wish you the best going forward, all right? Yes, sir. All right, thank you, man. Thanks.